If you are a designer who can craft their own UIs in something like Figma, I really don't think anymore it makes sense to use the load and no code tools like Webflow and Framer. And the reason is, is because within the past couple months, we've had a big development and that development is the release of the Figma MCP server. So let's take a step back and rewind before generative AI and all this MCP stuff. If you were a designer who designed stuff like in Figma or similar apps, but you didn't have front end development skills. Like you didn't know how to take that layout and structure it in HTML, CSS and JavaScript and all that good stuff. Then you had a couple options. You either had to pay somebody to do it for you, a front end developer. You had to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript yourself, which takes a lot of time. Or you could use the no to low code approach like with Webflow and Framer. But now within the past couple of months, we had the release of that Figma MCP server. Now, a lot of designers still have no clue what the heck that is. But last month upon its release, I released a video that has near 100,000 views showing exactly how you can use the Figma MCP server to accurately translate your design with the help of generative AI. So the process looks like this. So this right here is side bling, and that's the project that I'm currently covering and uploading uh, videos on the YouTube channel about how we create this with Claude Code Cursor. We integrate a bunch of custom design skills like from branding, identity, UI, UX, Rive, all that good stuff. And the way I took this homepage design, for instance, and I made it a reality in the browser is I didn't touch any HTML or CSS myself. I used the Figma MCP server, which means you have to use stuff like auto layout. You have to create styles and variables and all of that information is passed into the context window via the MCP server so that it gives the AIs, the LLMs, the biggest chance possible or the best chance possible of accurately translating your design into code. See, because before, if you just tried to upload a screenshot to one of these generative AI LLM coding platforms, well, it would do a really piss poor job. And what we found out, you have to have additional context. And so that's what the Figma MCP server does. So now there is another option for those designers who already know how to design layouts like in Figma to realize their layouts in the browser. And that is through the MCP server of Figma. As long as you're willing to take the time to set up your auto layouts correctly and understand how that works, along with attaching variables to the different numeric values such as margin, spacing, padding, all that good stuff, and as well as style variables and variables in other places, well, when you select that frame, you port it over, guess what? I found myself and I've used it several times, it does a, a good enough job to where it's pretty much 90% ready to go. And then you can really just prompt the LLM thereafter to fix any other issues with the layout. So to me, this begs the question, especially with all the crap that's just happened within the last 24 hours with Webflow being down for hours upon hours upon hours and people were freaking out, understandably so, that's what you call platform risk. That is one of the, the biggest examples. If you're gonna have all your eggs in one basket, in one platform, yeah, this type of stuff can happen. So you have to question yourself. If you're already a capable designer and you don't need the templates and the layouts that come with these services, then why would you use it? You can use AI right now to not only realize your designs in the browser accurately, but to also remove the costs associated with every single site that you publish on these different platforms. Now I haven't personally used Webflow very much, but I have used Framer and I absolutely love Framer's UI. They're GUI for allowing you to change CSS properties very easily and visually. And the one thing that they have going for them is that specific feature. It's very easy to take a design that's in their canvas and their layout and really make it interactive and style it and structure it exactly as you want. And that's one of the big things that a lot of the vibe coding platforms miss big time. Yeah, they can generate layouts and designs for you, but if you try to edit them thereafter in their little GUIs, like a lot of times many CSS properties are missing and you really don't have full control over them. So if I were a tool like Framer, Webflow, et cetera, I would be integrating the Figma MCP approach 
And in that way, at least once you have it ported over, then you have very minimal work in terms of trying to tweak the design. Because currently, like in Framer, you can import a Figma design, but then you have to manually use their GUI in order to make everything you know, behave and respond as you wish. But if they integrated with the Figma MCP server, and again, technically, I don't know if they would be able to or not, but it would really take a lot of that initial legwork out of the equation. And then that way, if you wanted to make adjustments thereafter, after the design's imported, then you can use their GUI, which would be a definite benefit over current tooling. But I'm telling you, in the very near future, there's going to be different tooling that will be integrated with things like Claude Code and Cursor that will allow you, in perhaps in a visual manner, kind of similar to how Framer allows you to adjust your design that's pulled in from the Figma MCP server and do so without having to manually type out a prompt in order to make these adjustments. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think these tools are great, but there is a definite platform risk. There's almost always people complaining about the pricing structure. Now that you can use and pretty, pretty accurately so, the Figma MCP server to realize your design on the front end, does it really make sense, as much sense perhaps as it did in the past, to use these tools? Let me know what you think. That was just a quick random thought. We're gonna get back to that side billing project very soon, so make sure to subscribe up to follow along about exactly with how I'm using the Figma MCP server to make a full robust app. I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.